afternoon, good evening, depending on where or when you're watching. It's me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon Gene, and it's Wednesday. So I should be saying buongiorno a tutti to all my paisans and compadres out there that are joining on Italian Shave Wednesday. That's right. Hump yep, day, I know what day is. yeah! Okay, you're going to wake the door. Hump day, yeah! Hump day, according to the camera. Anyway. And it's Italian Shave Wednesday. And we made it. We're on this downward slope. We're getting there. We're getting there. So, hope everybody's having a good week. My week's going pretty good. Relatively quiet at the office. and No major issues. Had a little bit of a plumbing issue here at the, at the ranch the other day. But we got it taken care of. No, no big deal. Anyway, what are we doing today? We're shaving. We're shaving today. Like we always do. We talk and shave. Shave and talk. And whatever else we do. What am I using today? Well, this guy right here. That's our software for today. Algorithm. It was the collaboration between the old Shave Tech group, Wet Shaving Store, and Hendrix Classics and Co. Now, I've told you about the, the binary code around the label. It spells out algorithm. Leave it to me, you geek, to figure that out real quick. I got the matching splash and the EDP. And the set notes on this. This thing was designed by Antoine Lai or Lee, L I E, at Armani. And we got top notes of lemon, bergamot. Then we go over to the middle with star anise, olive blossom, guillac wood. And then we get leather, tonka bean, and tobacco. Not an overpowering tobacco, not that, you know, smoky pool room type tobacco. It, I think it's more like a, a sweet tobacco leaf type thing. But it's, it's, it's there, but it's well hidden. And I like that. So that's what we're... That's our software today. I've got the Omega Silver Professional Rush soaking. Yep. Gotta find it. I found it. I got my Razor Rock bowl that we're using today. Using a Balzano blade, Italian name, made in Egypt. What are we shaving with today? What is our driver for the day? Well, you might have guessed it if you've seen some of the, the posts and the ads going around. From Razor Rock. It's an empty box. No, I'm not shaving with an empty box. It's not sharp enough. I'm using algorithm. Think about it. It's new. Brand new. This guy, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is the Cyber Razor from Razor Rock. That's a interesting design. Very angled and kind of like the a little bit of, of I think Henson in that but not quite it's got a built in 30 degree angle and it's designed it says here it's designed for the perfect daily shaver to tackle stubble and short growth double edge blades uh, 60 to 61 aluminum billet is what's used in making this on an accurate German CNC design, CNC machine ensuring tight tolerances. And the design is optimized for extreme blade support. What else does extreme blade support? Hmm, interesting. Uh, 
and rigidity, making it a comfortable shave that you'll ever use. And this is the, the medium aggression. You can see if you can see the two little flames or flowers on there. That's what tells the difference. Of course, the, the box tells it as well, but anyway, it's a three-piece design. If I can get it open, there we go. You can tell it's brand, brand new. Three-piece design. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. It's going to be an interesting shave. First shave out of the box. And of course, let me show you this. Tighten it up. There is no overhang from the blade on the, on the ends. Take a look here. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. The proof is going to be in the pudding. Let me show you the shave. Anywho, I have taken care of two of the three S's. I'm going to go make a leather, and I'm going to be right back. And here you go, before I leave. Why shouldn't you use beef stew as your computer's password? It's not strong enough. I'll be right back. Hey, and I'm back. I finished making the lather. And nice. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Nice and thick and creamy. And... Oh, it smells great. That is a awesome scent. So, I'm going to get some water on the face. Because, you know, hydration is important when you're shaving. Put the glasses right over here. Stay. I gotta tell you, when Shave Dad, not Shave Dad, Shave Tech, can't tell you shaves without a scorecard. Fold it up, shot. Was it kind of sad because they have a lot of good shows, a lot of good things going on. With John and Andy and Shannon, and Dougie, we're all doing good things right now, but uh, I think. You kind of miss, I know I do, I miss Shave Tech. It was a lot of fun. I had some fun with that. So, if any of the Shave Tech crews are listening, come on, bring it back. Or something along those lines. Let's see how this does. Well, it is not overly aggressive. I 
I can tell by the feel that it, it, it's a medium on the scale. I can tell what Mike and, and Joe over at the Italian Barber were talking about with this. That it can be a daily driver. I would love for them to release a more aggressive version of this. It's nice because it's it's medium. I mean, I feel it. It feels pretty good. No, nope. so far no, no issues. It's nice and tight in there, so it's no blade rattle. I think it's doing a good job. Not a lot of noise. I mean, you can hear a little bit when it hits. But... Not that... really high-pitched aluminum that you usually hear. With some of them raiders, but this is good. Let's just have a rinse and see how it did. Man, just a with the grain type thing. I could go to work like this. I could, but am I? Let's do a second pass. But the Going back to the software, the, the uh, we had software and hardware today. Cyber algorithm. Think about it. Computer day. Boom. Blows your mind. So we had bowling last night. Early league, we had one of the, we bowled against one of the top teams in the league. We kind of got skunked. We didn't kind of get skunked. We got skunked.
I had a decent night in both leagues. But I had some problems. Of course, we didn't bowl last week, so. I didn't even go practice. That's, but I had other things I had to be done. You know how that goes. Life will sometimes get in the way of life. Ponder that. And second league, <clears throat> I had some issues again. If I had hit my average all three games, and I mean hit it, the results would have been a lot better. But at least we we took two points last night. We took the middle game. Here we go, second pass is done. Let's see. Do we need a third? A little clean up here, maybe. And here, but... You know what? Yeah, a little bit. It's going to be relatively quick. So when I finish this, I'm going to head to the office. And then come home. Where else am I going to go? For those of you that are keeping up, Poseidon's legs are healing real nice where he had the surgery. I'm still waiting for the pathology on the one, one thing that they removed. And he really didn't go after anything, so we didn't really have to wear the cone of shame. Of course, instead of getting the one from the vet, I could have gone down the road to tractor supply and gotten a hat uh, and cut the top out, and there we go. Instant cone. Brenda's still on the injured reserve list. Her flare-up is still not quite 100%, so Doc doesn't want her ball. So, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Have you started to make your plans for the weekend yet? I mean, the only two things that I've got planned right now 
that I know of. Well, now I know this. I remember there's a third on Sunday. Yeah, baptism Saturday morning. A birthday party Saturday afternoon, I think, or Saturday evening. And then Mass. I don't know whether I'm on for anything Saturday. I know, I know I'm know i on for the 9.30 on Sunday. So if you're in the Martindale, San Marcos area, come down and say hi. Immaculate Heart of Mary in Martindale. Third pass is done. A little touch right there. And that's just residual slickness. This is an HCNC base. It's got plenty and it's got a nice full shape feel. There we go. Let me grab my towel. Where's my super suit? Where's my super towel? Here we go. Shaver's assistance with HC and C. Oh, bat hand action. And bat, because I'm bat so crazy, you know that. No nicks, no cuts, no errors on this shave. We're just going to do a towel dry and a toss. Off the bat. But I had the hamper against the wall tight, it would have been in. But it found that little gap. <clears throat> Alright. Let's shake that aftershave. Shake that aftershave. Oh, man. Mmm. Lemon, bergamot. <clears throat> and a little bit, maybe that, that leather and that tonka. And I love that combination, leather and tonka. That goes really well. Hmm. And let's do a spritz on the wrist. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And that is our shave for today. Final thought on the Cyber Razor. It's good for a daily driver. It can be. My only wish, like I said at the beginning, and based on this shave, is that the guys at Italian Barber, Razor Rock, Mike and Joe, do an aggressive version of this. I think that would be a real hit. But that's just my opinion. Your shaving experience might vary. If you can find this, I know on Hendrix Classics, it's listed, and the only thing that he's got left is the EDP. So grab some if you like Armani Code as an EDP. I think this is probably only available on aftermarkets like Murphy McNeil. There's a link to Murphy McNeil down there. There's a link to Hendrix. There's a link to pretty much everything that we're using here today. So check out the links. Yeah, check out the links. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Love the comments. Congratulations to Gary from the other day, who won the uh, two-year shave anniversary giveaway. We're at almost 390. 
we're getting close to that 400, which is uh, getting close to 500. I got something planned for 500. So pass the word, pass the word, subscribe. That's all. Like, like Bluto said, don't cost nothing. Anyway, that's our shave for today. And if shaving is not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day, you might be doing something wrong. As always, be there to yourselves and to each other. Have a great day. Smooth shaves. Ciao for now. Oh, band.